What is up guys, Epic Pokemon TCG here and after months of X and Y 8 weeks and covering videos and everything we are finally here with every single translation for the entire set of X and Y 8 Breakthrough or the two sets Red Flash and Blue Impact as they are known in Japan but uh, I guess we'll be getting the entire thing just in one gigantic set so I'm going to do my best to cover every single important card in this set including all 10 Mewtwo's which is ridiculous so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and before we get into it I want to say thank you so much for checking it out and yeah so we're gonna get into this thing and here we go so the first card we're gonna take a look at is a card that I've already covered of course is Houndoom EX and all the stuff down here is the translations these are just the pictures I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you real quick here so there is Mega Houndoom there is one of the Mewtwo EX's this is the one that does the 30 times the number of psychic energy you have attached to it. I can tell it because of the 30 times little psychic thing right there. And then we have the good, the really good Mewtwo, the really, really, really good Mega Mewtwo EX. Uh, this is the Y version. And there is the Chestnut Break. And there is the Marowak Break, the first ever Break Evolution card that I ever covered on my channel. And you guys absolutely smashed it when it came to views, for me anyway. Um, so there is Heavy Ball that is going to be making a comeback. There is Assault Vest that, that actually reduces damage done to your active Pokemon or your Pokemon that it's attached to uh, by 40 whenever your opponent attacks it with a Pokemon with special energy on it. There is the Spirit Link for Houndoom. The Spirit Link for Mewtwo, which I'm really glad you don't need two. They just made one. So yeah. There is Giovanni's Plans. Then there is Burning Energy. Love that card. There is the Full Art Houndoom. That looks absolutely gorgeous, I might add. There is the Mega Houndoom. Again, looks amazing. I love the artworks on the Full Arts for the Houndooms. They look great. I think I'm just like rubbing against my microphone with my hand. So if I just did that, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, there is the Full Art Mewtwo. And there is the Full Art Mewtwo Y. And there is the Full Art Giovanni's Plans. I think it was like one of the more recent. Uh, videos that I did. I did for Giovanni and Bridget. And of course here is the one of the ultra rare Mewtwo's. Pretty sweet looking. It's got Chestnut and Magnezone behind him. He's just sitting there chilling. Alright so now we're going to get into the other cards down here. Let's see here. So there is the other Chestnut. This is the one that of course you will be break evolving uh, if you use the one from this set. And I figured it'd be a good idea to take a look at it since, of course, you're probably going to be using it uh, if you don't use the X and Y version one. Uh, so it has Horn Piercing Lariat, 60 plus damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon has any damage counters on it, this attack does 60 more damage. So uh, with the benefits of Broken Vine Space, this will be a pretty card. Or a pretty card. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a cool card. This will be a pretty good card to get out pretty fast. Um, also, we're going to take a look at the second attack here. Uh, but that just comes to mind. Uh, you can get it out pretty fast uh, with a grass and a DCE. You know, you can start attacking right away. And since you do play DCEs in here, of course, you can play stuff like Lugia and all that if you want to. Uh, Vespa Queen is also an option, too. You know, there's a lot of cards you can play with that. Uh, Eternal Press, 100 damage. I'm not saying Vespa Queen would be good in there. I'm just kind of throwing out an example. <laughs> and it just uh, does a solid 100 damage. And during your opponent's next turn, damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's attacks is reduced by 20. And of course there is the Chestnut Break. Chestnut has the attacks, abilities, weakness, resistance, and retreat cost of its previous evolution. And so essentially you're just getting half the card. Pretty simple there. Uh, you do get a 30 HP boost, which is pretty sweet. Uh, almost comes up to 200 HP. It has the attack Tough Hammer. 160 damage, do 30 damage to this Pokemon. This, this attack does 30 damage to all of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you do it 160 damage. If you muscle band this Pokemon, that is 180 damage, which is pretty good. That's a magic number for a lot of EX cards, uh, besides the Megas, of course. And uh, also, you're doing so. You're also softening up more EXs too. So maybe they might have like a Mega Evolution on there. Like let's say like they have a Manetric. I think has 210 HP. I think I'm just throwing out a number. Uh, so if you do have, let's say a Pokemon on their bench, you know the 210 HP, then you're doing 30 damage to it. So that will lower it to 180. 
which in course will be able to, to allow you to knock it out next turn which is pretty sweet and so just not I think it's a pretty good Pokemon I think it just maybe takes a little too much energy uh, to you know attack with and that really honestly seems like it's only downfall besides having some me pretty mediocre attacks uh, but overall I think this card will see some play I think this card isn't overly horrible uh, of course you know all the break evolution cards can't be absolutely amazing but you know what do I know however if you do like chestnut you are planning to play it let me know down in the comment section below let me know any cards that you are excited about and you you plan on playing and uh, I've been talking with one of my subscribers in the comment section below about this upcoming Pokemon right here, Houndoom EX, and has the attack Melthorn, discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. Pretty sweet little mill attack. Maybe you can hit your opponent's DCs or something like that, or hit some key cards, you know, like uh, maybe some of their evolutions or whatnot. So that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, just a quick little attack to do there. Also has Grand Flame, 50 damage, attach a fire energy card from your discard pile on one of your bench Pokemon. Uh, so you got a Pokemon on your bench that you're trying to charge up uh, you can do a little 50 damage there you know attach some extra energies so that's pretty sweet uh, I think Houndoom EX actually overall is a pretty cool little pretty good little EX I think uh, it's pretty sweet and then of course we have Mega Houndoom EX here this is a card that I think is really really good one, one, okay of course whenever you Mega Evolve your turn ends but of course they have the Spirit Link which I showed you up there which will take care of that Infernal Fang, 80 damage. You may discard all fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 80 more damage. So, uh, pretty much, if you guys didn't see my video over burning energy, or if you don't know what burning energy does, essentially whenever you discard burning energy with the cost of a fire attack, that means you just get to reattach it, which is really good. And so, uh, of course, Infernal Fang, you know, if you discard all your fire energy, that means you would have to wait like another turn or you would have to like try to retreat this or get it out of the active spot and probably use like Houndoom EX or something to uh, Grand Flame back onto it or you can just use Mega Turbo uh, that's another option which I think is amazing with this card and uh, so that's something that you have to take a look at there but um, pretty much uh, with Burning Energy this means you could just probably attach one and then attach one energy and then next turn coming up Professor's Letter if you already have one in your hand or Mega Turbo and you start attacking right away again and uh, another cool thing to note uh, if you don't you know if you don't Spirit Link it you can Muscle Band it there's 180 damage again um, there I remember there were some ways that I was figuring out how Houndoom EX can hit a little harder and God forbid I can't remember right now off the top of my head <laughs> um, I actually like one person at League was talking about um, like pairing Mega Houndoom with bats or something like that or something crazy I don't know that dude's always playing weird stuff but anyway so that is the Houndooms and yeah I'm pretty excited about Houndoom I think Houndoom is going to be a pretty cool card and it also might give a it also might give Vaporeon a chance too which again I think is pretty cool alright so let's see here I guess we take a look at Starmie uh, Starmie has deep sea swirl just Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw seven. Pretty cool. Um, aha, here it is. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at this Empoleon here. I think this is like one of the first ever cards that I covered on my channel. Um, and this is what really started off the X and Y eight stuff. I really wanted to try out a different type of content on my channel, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna cover some X and Y eight cards, and I'm gonna see how that goes. And I gotta tell you, like, I was really impressed by, like, for my standards of what I get on my channel. Uh, I know kind of how my average views go and these views spiked a little bit and I started gaining some subscribers so if you guys came from these X and Y 8 videos and you decided to subscribe to me to come check them out thank you so much for that I really appreciate it and I'm really glad you're a part of this channel now and so Empoleon here has noble power I love my subs by the way in case you couldn't tell as long as this Pokemon is in play your basic Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage that's another thing I forgot to mention with Houndoom so yeah, another thing I was uh, um, was crazy that we were thinking about pairing uh, Mega Houndoom here with, since it only does 160 damage, um, was uh, where are you at, Empoleon? Oh, it was Empoleon, but then we remember like, well, it's not a basic anymore, and and we kind of had to throw that idea out the window. But uh, Empoleon also comes like 
starts coming to mind, you know, with a lot of other EXs and everything, as I'm trying to like scramble my sentences here together, in case you guys can tell I'm struggling. I just woke up and I was like, I gotta do this video. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that you could honestly pair this with, like maybe uh, you could pair it with Seismitoad, uh, since Seismitoad lost uh, like Hypnotoxic Laser. Of course, obviously the better variant of that would probably be uh, Seismitoad Bats, but um, you know, you can also pair that with like Oh man, there's so many stuff you can just honestly like. Uh, okay, honestly, you can just really pair this with any EXs. Like, I can't really come, I can't really think of any off the top of my head. Uh, but I think Empoleon definitely does have a lot of potential for this game, and I feel like that there's going to be a lot of decks that, or a lot of people that will try out Empoleon to see just how it works. Uh, just because this noble power or yeah, noble power ability, it's just really cool and really awesome. And uh, personally, me, I was thinking about playing a stupid deck with Red Ice with it. Uh, just um, pretty much like, in, like a whole deck just to like kind of screw with my opponent to just place EXs. Um, so that was something I was thinking about doing. Um, and the cool thing is, is like, you know, it also has like a pretty decent attack. Also, you know, going back to uh, talking about Muscle Band, uh, it has a water and a colorless cost. So that's two energy and really not that bad. And so you, uh, if you Muscle Band it, you could actually hit for 90 damage. And uh, guys, I do have a stuttering problem, so I hope that's not a big problem here. But uh, yeah, I feel like Empoleon's a pretty sweet card. I feel like it really can add some damage and stuff. Uh, it's kind of like Machamp. I feel like I hope it doesn't go the same route that Machamp deck did. Uh, the Machamp that adds 20 extra damage for uh, fighting Pokemon. But I feel like since Empoleon says basic Pokemon, it can add damage to really any EX Pokemon. I feel like that's definitely going to be a card that's going to be played, or at least tried out. And I will definitely do my best when this set comes out to try to get my hands on some Napoleons and give you guys a couple decks or maybe a few decks, just depending on whatever crazy stuff I build, and definitely doing that. And I'm currently watching Friday the 13th, and my favorite part of the movie is about to come up. Oh my god, wait, here it is, here it is. Ooh, you dead, son. Ooh. Alright, my bad. <laughs> Alright, so here is Magnezone and Raikou, the combination right here for us. So, Magnezone has a very sweet ability. It's really, really similar to Blastoise and um, Embor. That's right, Embor. Uh, see, Blastoise gave you water energy. You can let you attach as many as you want. We've seen that in the past with the form of Feraligatr Prime and uh, base set Blastoise and such. And, of course, Embor was fire energy. Uh, but Magnus on here lets you attach all, as many electric energies you want from your hand to one of your Pokemon. And so we, we honestly have a obvious counter down here, as I show you Magnus on right here. Uh, and Raikou. So Raikou has an attack here. Uh, Thunder Lance, 50 plus damage. This attack does 20 more damage for each electric energy attached to this Pokemon. And uh, there's honestly some other stuff you can honestly put with Magnezone that'd probably be way better. Uh, but still, pretty sweet to look at uh, this little combination here. Uh, this deck here is going to be pretty cool, I think, anyway. Um, the thing is, is like, you know, it really sucks that Stage 2s aren't that good anymore because of the rare candy nerf. But at the same time, you know, I can kind of see why. But yeah, I think I think if they did unnerf Rare Candy, I think it'd be a very, very wide variety game where a lot of decks really worked. And a lot, you know, just, I don't know, I feel like it, the competitive scene would be absolutely crazy. And, you know, that that's, that's another reason why I think it would be bad if the competitive scene was just absolutely insanely ridiculous uh, with just so many decks going on at once. But still... It's pretty cool, you know, uh, just taking a look at this little combination here. I hope something definitely does come up with Magnezone because I feel like this is, anytime you get an ability like this, it's going to be good. Whoops. Um, of course, you know, Blastoise kind of died off there for a little bit, but, you know, it got revived with Archies and One Worlds. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping Magnezone gets something, you know, competitive-wise. You know, hope it gets, like, a pretty sweet deck with it. And then we take a look at Mewtwo EX here, the one I was talking about earlier. Uh, Blast Wall, this attack does 30 times the number of psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. Then this is damage exchange. This is another attack I forgot to mention while I was up there. Uh, switch the number of damage counters on this Pokemon with your opponent's active Pokemon. So if they they got a Pokemon up there with 20 damage and you're able to get this going, and really, honestly, this attack is really easy to just to kind of surprise your opponent with. Uh, with Dimension Valley, it'll take that colorless cost right there, so just be two psychic energies pretty much and so they got something up there with 10 damage you got like 150 or 100 damage on you or something like that you can just switch it 
and so now they have a heavily damaged Pokemon. That's a pretty cool EX. Honestly, I, I think it. I like it overall. Um, pretty nice. Take a look at Mega Mewtwo Y here. Psychic Infinity. Now this is the ridiculous attack here. 10 plus damage. The attack does 10 plus 30 more damage for each energy attached to each player's Pokemon. Both active, yeah, both active players' Pokemon. And so this is a little bit. Okay, this is very similar, <laughs> very similar to Mewtwo EX's X Ball, the one from X and Y, uh, except it starts off with a base damage of 10, and then it starts going 30, 60, 90, 120. Yeah, so it's kind of ridiculous, um, but still a very 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 good EX I think you're gonna be able to do high amounts of damage with this card and I can't wait to see you know what what kind of finger math people are gonna be doing with this thing because honestly it's it's pretty bad <laughs> if you if you're like me and your finger is your calculator you know you'll be just going nuts with it but uh, I think this is probably my favorite EX out of the entire set honestly um, I kind of wish that it wasn't this Mewtwo. I, I like Mewtwo X. Like, I like Mega Mewtwo X. That's my favorite one out of the two. But still, pretty sweet. This one right here, Miss Magius, uh, it also has the. Whenever you evolve, it basically has N for your opponent. It has the ability to twist the spell once during your turn before you attack. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may use this ability. Your opponent shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and draws cards equal to the number of his or her remaining prize cards. Actually said that without screwing it up. All right, so uh, if you evolve this and your opponent has like two prizes left, well, they shuffle their hand in their deck and draw two. So that's pretty cool. I figured that'd be just a card to look at. Sweet little disruption card. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cresselia. This has a a ability where basically if there's a stadium in play, its retreat cost becomes zero. Other than that, really nothing special to look at there. All right, so we're gonna take a look at Marowak next. And there it is. He's checking out. What the heck is he looking at? I don't know what he's even looking at. He's looking at something. Or she's looking at something. Excuse me. Uh, snipe. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. It's, it's 30 damage. has Pokemon, so you can just kind of pick off stuff. Uh, Bone Windmill. 60 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an EX, switch this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. So it kind of has a very similar Dawn Fan attack right there. If you're attacking an EX card, you can just kind of switch it off to your bench. Um, of course, Dawn Fan only took one energy to do this attack, and it didn't have to be an EX. <clears throat> Excuse me, and an EX to do it, but I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, of course, you could do high amounts of damage with this card with uh, Fighting Stadium, Muscle Band, Strong Energy, just the works. Uh, but of course, Marowak Break is actually really sweet and uh, holds a very, very special place in my heart because this is the first ever card that I covered, or the first ever Break Pokemon that I covered on my channel. And uh, you guys kind of smashed it, so again, thank you for that. And of course it has, you know, gains everything from the previous Pokemon, tax, abilities, weaknesses, resistance, retreat costs, etc. Um, I said everything on that list and then said etc. Good job, Dylan. Anyway, so it has Bone Revenge, 20 plus damage, attack does 40 more damage for each card your opponent, yeah, each prize card your opponent is taking, excuse me. Uh, so, pretty much essentially what this is saying is if you're really late in the game, you're going to get a knockout. Very similar to Shaman EX's attack. Not the broken one, not the $50 Shaman, the other Shaman, the grass one, the <laughs> the grass Shaman EX. Okay, um, let's see. I guess we can take a look at Mammoth Swine. Why not? Okay, so I covered Mammoth Swine. It has a pretty sweet attack. Uh, the ability Thick Fat, any damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's, I think it's Fire or Water? Yeah, your Fire or Water your opponent's fire water Pokemon, excuse me, is reduced by 30. So, uh, let's see, Houndoom EX will be doing like, I don't know, little to nothing. Uh, Seismitone won't be doing much. Uh, pretty much any fire water Pokemon is, or, you know, they're going to get a big chunk of their damage knocked off. And it also has Primeval Roar. It costs four energy, but maybe you can get it set up. 80 plus damage. If there's a stadium card in play, this attack does 40 more damage. If your opponent, ha yeah, if your opponent has a stadium card in play, this Pokemon heals 40 HP. So, yeah, I guess if it's a, is it a or? Oh, if you ha okay, I got you. So pretty much, if you have the stadium out, you do 40 extra damage. So that's 120. 
And then if your opponent has a stadium card play, this Pokemon heals 40. Yeah. Uh, however, Piloswine is the one that I think is the one doing a lot of damage here. Uh, Footprints of the Herd. This attack does 30 plus 10 more damage for each uh, retreat cost and all of your Swine of Piloswine and Mamoswine in play. So pretty much if you get like a lot of these things out, you're going to be racking up some damage. Uh, especially Mamoswine. Mamoswine has 4. Piloswine of course has 2. And Swine of has 3. Now I feel like if I was Pokemon, I would have made these Pokemon have like just ridiculous amounts. Of, I would have gave this one like 2 retreat. This one through retreat, I would have kept it at four, just to keep it kind of somewhat competitive. Because uh, I mean, you're attacking with a 100 HP attacker that takes three energy, so nothing really that special there. So I would increase it just a little bit. Uh, we got Gallade right here. I figure I'll take a look at it. Uh, ability Premonition: Once during your turn, before you attack, you may look at the top five cards of your deck and put them on top of your deck in any order. So after you get done playing your supporter and everything. You can kind of manipulate what card you're going to draw for your upcoming turn. And then Sensing Blade, 60 plus damage. If you played a supporter card from your hand to start, it's like this 70 more damage. You're going to be hitting for like 130 damage. And of course, it is a is a fighting type. However, I think Curlia is a psychic type this set. So you're not going to be getting the benefits of fighting stadium and such until you get the stage 2 out. Which, eh, it's kind of a downfall there. But still, I think Glade's a pretty cool Pokemon. Um... See, I started like they started leaking like a lot of stage twos out, and I kind of figured we were gonna get something that would support stage twos. But unfortunately, I was wrong. Uh, there is the Evetal or Evital, whichever one you want to refer to it as, uh, that I did cover a while back. Fright Knight, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, all Pokemon tools have no effect. So this is pretty much essentially what that uh, what card is that? Yeah, the Bayonet. I think that's how you pronounce that name. This is pretty much the, uh, the ability Bayonet has where no tools are active. And I thought that was a really sweet card. And I same thing goes for this. I think this is a really sweet card too. Then it has Jet Black Spear. The only problem is this has too many energy and doesn't do enough damage. But it has a pretty good trade off for there. Uh, 60 damage and then choose one of your opponent's bench to EX. It does 60 to it. So you're doing 60 and then 60 to another HP. And honestly that damage will rack up pretty fast. If they don't knock it out. And my little friend Bronzor. I absolutely just love this Bronzor. <laughs> However, uh, it's kind of a, you better hope you can knock out that Pokemon. Because it is a 60 HP basic. But it has the attack payback, 10 plus damage. If your opponent only has one prize card left, this attack does 10 damage plus 60 more damage. Now, if you, you know, like knock the living crap out of your opponent's Pokemon, let's say like you're playing Metal Ray, and you do 150 damage to it and they knock out your Rayquaza and you have a DC and just a lone bronze or something like that you can bring this little sucker up DCE it or you can metal links to it honestly if it's sitting on your bench and you have a way to get something out of the active spot and you could do 70 damage and win the game with it so I love that little bronze ore, and I see definitely some situations where that's gonna come up and be a factor So I can't wait for that <laughs> And our man, Mr. Mime, has made a return. However, this time it is a, a fairy type, almost said a psychic. It is a fairy type instead of a psychic, but it does have bench barrier, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks. Uh, I'm very excited for this because I love the Doug Trio deck. I love Doug Trio EVs. It's like honestly one of my favorite decks to play. And so being able to have Mr. Mime to protect my bench from Earthquake is pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, Mr. Mime is, of course, going to protect you from. Jet Black Spear, and of course it's going to protect you from Overrun, and it will protect you from bats though. <laughs> That's something that a lot of people got confused whenever bats came out was if Mr. Mine protected you. And uh, I'm trying to think of what else hits the bench, I really can't think of anything besides a uh, Manetric and Evetal off the top of my head. You guys remember I just woke up. <laughs> uh, we got a Romatisse here, this sweet little Romatisse, and uh, I like its attack here. Uh, heavy perfume your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused when your opponent's active hits itself in confusion put six damage counters on that Pokemon instead of three so if they attack and they flip tails there's six damage counters that's pretty funny and of course hug the most intimidating attack of all time your opponent just can't retreat so a little synergy there however it only has 90 HP so that kind of sucks let's see uh, there is Dodrio 
uh, has an ability pretty much just lowers um, yeah and lowers your active spell command retreat cost by two uh, really I'm I, I don't really see like what this would be like incredibly useful in but I guess really anything you know like if you have a, like decks that just have two retreat costs and you want to put that in there and have free retreat and you know more more the power to you all the power to you did I say that right I don't think I said that right I didn't okay okay so let's see uh, heavy ball of course make it I, I'm sorry I'm really goofy when I wake up heavy ball of course I should you right there uh, search your deck for a Pokemon with a retreat cost of three or more put it in your hand shuffle your deck afterward really awesome uh, it's one of my favorite trainers uh, it was really good too whenever I played it because I played it uh, back like whenever Landers was in and uh, Don Fan Prime was in and stuff. I think Don Fan Prime. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Salt Dust. This is the one. Yeah. The Pokemon discards attached to you takes 40 less damage from your attacks of your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy cards attached. That girl gonna die. Ooh. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, of course, Houndoom Spirit Link just makes it to where whenever you Mega Evolve, your turn doesn't end with Houndoom. Mewtwo Spirit Link, which again, I'm very glad that they have both Mewtwo's on there. Um, pretty much, you can just evolve either one. And of course, there is Giovanni's Plans. I think this will be a one of in every deck, to be honest with you. Uh, just because of the, really, overall, this card's really solid. Uh, draw card, yeah, draw until you have five cards in your hand, so that's really sweet. And then it actually, the second is a muscle band ability, to be honest with you. Uh, until the end of your turn, each of your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So you remember when I said Houndoom doesn't do enough uh, damage? Okay. Giovanni's Plans is definitely going to help that. Uh, that's going to make it hit for 180. So that's really sweet. I completely forgot about Giovanni's Plans. So this card is definitely really useful in Houndoom. Houndoom's kind of an evil Pokemon I guess and Giovanni is of course a bad guy so perfect synergy there. <laughs> Alright next up we have Burning Energy. This card can only be attached to fire Pokemon obviously. If this card is discarded by the effect of an attack from of the fire Pokemon that's attached to you, reattach that card from your discard pile after applying damage and effects from this attack. So pretty much whenever you attack and you do the damage and everything, you get all that stuff settled and whatnot, you get to reattach it. So that's really, really good and really handy. And there is Houndoom EX. Thank you for showing back up. Okay. So Inferno Fang, of course, discard 160. And then Geofani's Plans, 180. So there you go. Um, of course, there is the full art again. They deserve a second look. There is the full art Mewtwo. And there is the Mega Mewtwo, the really good one. And there is the Full Art and Giovanni's Plans. It looks like he's, I don't know, it looks like he's saying come to me, like come to Butthead. Sorry. <laughs> and there's that again. Alright, so there is half of the cards, I think. And yeah, we're going to do this all in one video. Oh man, alright. Sorry, I'm sending a text message like right when I'm like recording. So, my bad, guys. All right, so here we go. Blue Impact. This is where we're gonna be taking a look at Glalie, Glalie, yeah, Mega Glalie, 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 Glalie EX. Excuse me. Which is a card that's getting a lot of hype, honestly. There is Mewtwo EX. There is Mega Mewtwo. My favorite, the one I like, not the card, but the evolution itself. There is Zorark Break and Florges Break. Covered both of these. Oh, my beautiful Floatstone. Look at it, guys. Look at it. Sorry. Of course, we have Glalie. I told you I'm silly when I wake up in the morning. There is the Glalie Spirit Link. There is the Mewtwo Spirit Link again. There is Bridget. Parallel City, which is an insane card. And, of course, Rainbow Energy is being reprinted again. And the Full Arts, there is the Glalie here I almost said Mega Glalie there is Mega Glalie that looks scary I'm sorry that just looks so scary okay so we got Mewtwo right there there is Mega Mewtwo with Vanishing Strike Attack and there is Bridget who for some reason just decided to take some of her clothes off in that picture I don't know why and there is Mewtwo here it's got 
Meloetta, Zorark, Haxorus all behind it. Pretty sweet. There's Pinsir, who can never get a good card anymore. At all, actually. Let me phrase that. Let's see here. There's the stupid monkeys. Typhlosion. Alright, we're going to cover you first. Okay, so there is Typhlosion. Massive Eruption, 80 damage. Discard the top 5 cards of your deck. This attack is 80 times the number of energy cards you would you discard. It's almost attached. So yeah, discard the top 5. If you can hit 3 energy, then you can pretty much knock out stuff. Uh, not a very reliable attack, but still it can do a lot. It can do some damage, I think. Flare Destroy, 130 damage. Discard an energy attached to this Pokemon and discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So pretty much if you put a Burning Energy on here, you discard it. It comes back, your opponent's energy doesn't come back. So, pretty cool little stage two. Uh, Octillery. This is a pretty sweet draw card, I think. And definitely will help out people that can't get Shamans and stuff. I think, anyway. Uh, Shaman is very expensive. So, I think new players starting out, this will be a pretty good uh, backup card to go for. Abyss Hand, once during your turn before you attack, you may draw until you have five cards in your hand. So, that's really cool. Uh, it's very similar to Electrode. I accept Letro, I think only gave you four. But Octillery gives you five, and that's really good. And it gives you Hug. I'm really trying not to yawn right now. There it goes. Oh, man. So Hug, again, most intimidating attack in all of the Pokemon TCG. Uh, except this kind of scares me a little bit. He actually does damage when he hugs you. So he's squeezing a little too hard. Uh, the defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Uh, I think really this is just going to be a really good draw card and again you know a card that I'm really glad that they're releasing because it's I honestly think for people that can't pick up shamans this is a fantastic card for them to kind of fall back on and get their hands on so really cool there uh, of course here is Glalie EX now I'd made the just biggest mistake in my original video for this card so I'm gonna redeem myself here <laughs> instant cooling 50 plus damage if you have the same number of cards in your hand is your opponent this attack does 100 more damage now I'm pretty sure judge is gonna be down here somewhere so we're gonna go ahead and just say judge is in this set I think it's in this set let me uh, go up here a little bit new no. is judge in this set I don't see judge okay I don't see judge <laughs> Uh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? So I, I like scrolled down farther than I thought. Uh, where you at? Where you at? Oh no, I can't find it. One second, guys. Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna pretend we're we're gonna we're, okay. We're just gonna use Judge as an example. All right. So, uh. Pretty much if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does 100 more damage. So if you play Judge, then that's like 150 damage there. And plus you're adding a little disruption for your opponent. And I think also this will be really good with Octillery, uh, just because you can draw a card. Uh, but I wouldn't do it after you judged. <laughs> uh, probably a bad example. But anyway, so that's really cool. Uh, if they have Judge coming out soon. I didn't see it down there. I'm a, I, if I overlooked it, my bad. And yeah, I think also, I'm trying to think if there's any cards like out now that does that. I don't think there is. But I mean, you, you can just try to match your opponent's hand size. And then we have Mega Glalie. All right, here is where I screwed up because I'm dyslexic. All right, Cryo Mouth, 100 damage. If there are 10 or more damage counters on this Pokemon, which means if it has 100 damage on it, okay, this attack does 150 more damage. Now. When I read this originally, and I actually said it out loud too, which I don't know how I got confused there. I thought, it, okay, for some reason I read it as if it has 10 dam, or if it has like a damage counter, like 10 damage on it. That's how I saw it. For some reason, I said it did that. That'd be a little too OP. Um, yeah, but if it has 100 damage on it, it does 250 damage. So that's something definitely to look at. Let's see what else. Here we go. So we're going to look at the three Pokemon here for Gengar. So Sleep Poison, flip a coin. If has your opponent's active Pokemon is now Sleep and Poison. Gothic Fear, once during your turn before you attack, when you play this card from your hand, evolve one of your Pokemon. You may use this ability. Both active Pokemon are now confused. 
poison circle, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. And let's see here. Yeah, during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. And then Gengar. Ominous Fog, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. Place one damage counter on each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Creep Show. If your opponent's active Pokemon has at least three damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. So this is a card that I am absolutely insanely, ridiculously just excited for. I can't wait for this card to come out. I really can't. Um, because just the potential and crazy stuff that you can put with this card, it's, it's, it's hilarious. So, um, pretty much, uh, with this card here, uh, you play Dimension Valley. Uh, it just becomes a psychic cost, so that, that colorless will come off. And all these attacks here pretty much will add damage counters to it. But I'm trying to think of a way to put damage counters on it. I do not, I repeat, I do not want to pair this deck with bats. I feel like that's just going to be stupidly clunky and I think it's going to be really inconsistent and I'm not even going to try that version at all. I, I don't even want to try it because you're trying to set up two stage twos and trying to do all that crap with it. I think it's just going to be hor like just horrifically clunky so I'm not even going to try that. Uh, I was thinking about probably pairing it with like uh, what is that car called? Spinda? I think it's called Spinda. What it does, it does like 10 damage to all of your, um, yeah, I think it does like 10 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon, and then pair it, like putting in like two or three Absols in it or something like that. That was a card I was thinking about doing. And so that was, that was just an idea I had, was trying that out. And here is Mewtwo EX, the other one here that we're going to take a look at, one of the 10 Mewtwo's. Photon Wave, 30 damage. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 30. So kind of a little tanky attack there. And then Psycho Burn, 120 damage, very similar to the other Mewtwo EXs that attacked the original, the ones that we had to deal with for a few years, except it takes one extra energy and such. But yeah. So if you play Dimension Valley, this will cost one energy. That's pretty cool. But I would probably play the other one over it, to be honest with you. Unless you're playing, well, well, actually, yeah, if you're playing Mewtwo in general, you're probably going to be playing Psychic Energies. What am I saying? And here is my Mewtwo, the one I like. Uh, Vanishing Strike for a Psychic, two Fighting, and a Colorless. But if you Dimension Valley, of course, it takes three Energy, two, two Fighting, and a Psychic. Uh, 150 damage if there is a Stadium in play. This attack does, a, does 50 more damage. And yeah, I think it does, yeah, it does 200 damage. But you have to have a stadium in play. So that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you don't have the energy for it, I think I would probably, I don't know, I think, see, if I played this deck, I think I would play a Smeargle in it. Uh, the Smeargle lets you uh, switch the energy from your active, from your discard pile. So that way you can kind of maintain the energy attachments. That way you always have the right kind of energy. But overall, I think this might take a little too long to set up and just the energy is just a tad bit crazy. Uh, yeah, you can play Rainbow in here, but I, I don't know. I just the other one is extremely better, and I think that's actually how it is in the VGC as well. I think this Mewtwo kind of lacks from the other one, but uh, still pretty cool card. I mean, you can hit for 200 damage, so uh, maybe some decks will come out and we'll get that going. Let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at this card just because of the fact that there is a break evolution coming out for it in a promo and we might get it so I just want to kind of talk about that there if you guys missed it I did cover the break evolution for this I'm not even going to try to say the name of this stupid thing because I won't I won't be able to so let's see here attack name obscured yeah <laughs> this attack does 20 damage nom or noms. times the number of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon uh, and then it does Psybeam, 50 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Uh, pretty, pretty eh. Uh, the uh, break evolution for it too is pretty eh. But I just wanted to go ahead and show it to you since, you know, that's a card there. That's going to be probably, maybe coming out. I don't know yet. Uh, the first attack's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can do some damage with it. <laughs> Let's see here. Meloetta? Oh yeah, this is a card I didn't cover. Alright, so I didn't cover this, so I'm going to go ahead and give it some exposure here. Excel Spin, attach two Fighting Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. 
If this set attached two fighting energy to one of your Pokemon, this would be a little too good, and I'm kind of glad that they didn't do that. And then it has Primando? Sure. If this Pokemon has any psychic energy attached to it, this attack does 50 more damage. So you're going to be doing 110 damage with a with a fighting type. So I think this actually will probably be, if you play the Mewtwo up here, this one right here, if you play that one, I, I would probably tuck in maybe a Melbaletta to type a secondary attacker. I don't know. You never know. Try it. <laughs> Next up we have Zorark here. This Zorark is amazing, I might add. Wait a minute. It has the ability, but the ability is not right here. I know the ability though. It's it's basically rush in. Uh, it's basically it does what Keldeo did. Uh, you rush in, just kind of make it your active Pokemon. And as Mind Jack, this attack is ten plus thirty more damage for each Pokemon or for each Pokemon on your opponent's bench. With Skyfield being as popular of a card as it is, and just uh, you know people loading their benches up with shamans and all kinds of stuff, this is definitely a good card. Uh, it's really good, has a lot of potential, and its break is amazing. Uh, so Zorark is definitely going to be one of the top decks in the TCG coming out. I'm, I'm calling it now. It's going to be really good. Uh, foul play. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon. or Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon. I just said that. Choose one of your active Pokemon's or opponent's active Pokemon attacks. I am screwing this up so bad. And use it as this, as this attack. Good God, guys. Did you hear that? Okay, Dylan. Foul play. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. Slow down your talking. Jesus. All right, here we go. We're good. So this is very similar uh, to the old Zorark that came out. I think it was in X and Y. Yeah, it was in X and Y. It did this attack, and honestly, this was used a little bit. Uh, so you can actually use pretty much anything. Uh, you don't need the energy cost, you just need the dark energy. And so you can use attacks like uh, Sky Return if it's heavily damaged. You can use attacks like Emerald Break, uh, Intensifying Burn. Uh, you can use Bee Revenge. You can use Resistance Blizzard <laughs> if you want to. I mean, you can use every attack that is possibly out there. You can use uh, Circle Circuit. Uh, yeah, I mean, really... You can use honestly anything that your opponent just has out. You know, every single amazing card that you're seeing. Uh, you can use that Mega Mewtwo Wise attack and just do a crap ton of damage. Uh, so, I think Zorark's a really sweet card. Um, one thing I was wondering. Yeah, see, I, I don't know how this will work with the Eevees. I don't know that whole rolling thing yet. I'll have to check that out after I'm done with this. But, I think Zorark's going to be an amazing card. And the fact that we're getting Flipstone again. Uh, with Zorark being able to rush in and retreat, I think Zorark will be thrown or splash into a lot of decks. Honestly, um, one thing I was looking at was maybe a one-one or a two-two, probably in like Metal Ray if I can fit it in. That's what she said. Anyway, uh, just because you can just kind of rush in, retreat, you know, Metal Links and stuff. So that's something I was definitely checking out there. Uh, plus, if it sits on your bench, that's a good thing because you can do extra damage with it. So that's really good. We're going to take a look at Florges here. Uh, relaxing Scent. Each of your opponent's uh, Pokemon is a fairy list. That is a typo, I think. Okay, pretty much what this does is uh, every single one of your fairy type Pokemon that have a fairy energy attached to it, their attacks cost a fairy less or something like that. Something along those lines. And Wondershine 70 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And then Florida's Break, we're going to take a look here. I'm really glad I covered these videos. <laughs> Alright, so. Flower Breeze, once during your turn before you attack, you may heal 30 damage from your, from your active Pokemon and remove one special condition from it. So that's really cool. Um, you just kind of heal. And uh, these, I'm pretty sure, will tank. So if you can get multiple Florida's out, heal about 60 damage or so and get rid of a special condition so that's pretty cool and you'll be doing Wondershine for 70 which I think will cost two fairy energy and you can muscle band that sucker 90 and cost confusion so that's really cool so I think Flora just is an eh card I think really the only playable bright cards are probably Marowak and Zork. I, I really probably I really think that 
Uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at Xerneas here. Rainbow Force 10 plus damage. This deck is 30 more damage for each type of your bench Pokemon. This is really good in Fairy Dex course. I think Max Potion is being reprinted too. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was a fake picture or not. No one's ever told me, so kind of going with it. Uh, power creation, 80 plus damage. If this Pokemon has recovered any HP during your turn, this attack does any more damage. This is really good, honestly, with Max Potion. Uh, you just splash this in a Fairy deck and do some damage. Uh, the only problem, again, and I stated this in my other videos, it only has 120 HP. And those Fairy decks like to keep as many energy out as possible. And attaching 4 energy to a 120 HP Pokemon that can be knocked out easily. I just don't see... I just don't see the benefits in that. Uh, maybe you do, but I just I just think it'll get knocked out too easy. But I think it'll probably be a card to take a look at. And of course, we have Haxorus here. Haxorus is a pretty interesting card. It has three attacks, and we really don't see that you know very often anymore. I think really only the Dragon type Pokemon that come out here and there have three attacks. But it has Dragon Dance. Uh, each of Haxorus attacks do 100 more damage. This effect continues until this Pokemon leaves play. And you can't apply this effect to this Pokemon more than once at a time. Sharp Fang, 60 damage. If you do Dragon Dance, it's 160. Dragon Pulse, 130. If you do Dragon Dance, it is 230. And discard the top three cards of your deck. And you can get this set up really fast uh, with the double Dragon Energy. You just attach one double Dragon Energy and you can start attacking. That's really sweet. Then we have Noctowl here. Uh, we're going to take a look at Hoot Hoot first. Let's show you the theme here. Nightcall, your opponent can't play any item cards from his or her hand during his or her next turn. And then you have Noctowl here, which has Sky High 20 times damage. Both players reveals their hand. This attack does 20 damage times the number of item cards in both players' hands. So there's some obvious energy there with Vileplume. Uh, maybe a like a 2-2 of it or something like that. Because I feel like Giratina is still going to be the overall like preferred attacker for this deck, and maybe Mill Tank, uh, along with Regice too, if you play that variant. But uh, Noctowl definitely can do some damage, I think. <laughs> so that's really good. Let's see. There is Smeargle. Smeargle's pretty mediocre, but I, you know, going back to Mewtwo, I can see now where it might have some useful benefits and stuff. Uh, if you have a Pokemon that just takes like multiple energy, I think this will be good. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may switch one basic energy card attached to your axe with one different type of basic energy in your discard pile. So let's say you need like a fighting energy and you just have a psychic. You know, and you, like you have one fighting and two psychic on Mewtwo, just switch the energy if you have it in your discard pile, of course. And so I definitely think that Smeargle does now have some playability. Uh, I think so anyway. Uh, Floatstone. Uh, this card, this Pokemon, or this this card god dang it I swear I hate when I do that this Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost I'm sorry guys yeah. we have Glalie Spirit Link as a course uh, makes it to where your opponent or your, not your opponent god now I'm screwing up like crazy okay so Glalie of course when you Mega Ball Glalie when this is attached to it you don't um, your turn doesn't end Mewtwo same thing I'm so sorry guys search your deck for one Ba uh, one basic Pokemon EX or up to three basic Pokemon. Huh? Search your deck for one basic Pokemon EX or up to three basic Pokemon excluding EX and put them on your bench. Okay, excuse me guys. See, dyslexia slash stuttering equals I screw up videos. <laughs> so pretty much Bridget here. Um, I think I probably messed this up whenever I did the Bridget video that or they just fixed the translation or something like that. But uh, pretty much you can search your deck for a basic EX card uh, like Shaman or you can get up to three basic Pokemon which is like a collector and put them on your bench. I thought this said one to three Pokemon EXs and I might have did that in the video. I don't know if they fixed the translation or I just screwed that up. I probably screwed it up. But uh, Bridget I think is a good supporter. I think it's pretty decent. Uh, however, I think you would just play some other stuff over it. Uh, maybe uh, play this over Pokemon Fan Club probably. I think, yeah, I think I would play this over Pokemon Fan Club, to be honest with you. So, that's probably what, what usefulness this will have. Uh, if you just, if you don't play it like an EX-based deck, that's something I would definitely do. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Parallel, oh yeah, let me show you the picture. There's the picture, excuse me. So there is Parallel City. I actually didn't think I didn't show you the pictures of the Spirit Links. 
Okay, so there's Glalie Spirit Link, and there is, of course, V2 Spirit Link. Where I've seen that. I think I showed it to me up there. I'm getting all nervous because I'm worried I'm going to mess up again, but eh, you guys don't care. <laughs> I hope not, anyway. So there is Parallel City. It has two effects, and uh, if I wasn't recording, I'd be picking up my laptop and turning it upside down. But top effect, text upside down. The player this side of the card is facing can only have three bench Pokemon. Um, the player that this card is facing is water, fire, and grass Pokemon's attacks to 20 less damage. And so for, I, like honestly for decks that like, like Rayquaza or Raichu or something like that, you can just kind of play the effect facing them uh, where they can only have three bench Pokemon. And unless they counter, you know, they have a counter stadium, they're not going to be doing that much damage. Uh, Rayquaza will be because they can still do like 90 damage. Or if your opponent has like, like I think this will be good against like B Revenge. Um, just maybe they the hell the hell they'll have to have like more Pokemon in their bench or their discard pile to do it. I God, I'm, I've gone through this whole video doing like somewhat decent, and now I'm just screwing up left and right. Ugh. All right, so we have Rainbow Energy here. You guys know what Rainbow Energy does. And there is the full arts here. We're getting to an end of this video, so now I can stop screwing up and butchering the video and making you guys sit there and go, why am I watching this guy? There's Mega Glalie. There's Mewtwo. There's that one. I'm actually going to start taking speech classes, too. I've actually found out where I can go do that. There is Bridget. And there is the other special Mewtwo. And in here are some more stuff. Alright. So we have, oh yeah, they actually are, okay, duh. Alright, so here we go, here is Raichu, the new Raichu anyway. Thunder Judgment, 50 time, or yeah, 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon EXs. That's very good, I think. Just, you know, 50, 50, 50. <laughs> and actually, yeah, I think if you scope, or not scope, what is that called, wide lens? Yeah, if you wide lens this and you hit, you hit a couple Shaman, that's 100 damage. That's pretty sweet. Then of course we have the Raichu break here, and it does Grand Bolt 170 discard or discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. That's a hundred. That's a lot of damage, honestly. And uh, the problem is though, uh, I think Japan has eels, so this is actually a little more playable over there. Uh, friendly rescue. That looks like okay. I th that looked like town map to me for some reason. All right. Uh, both players choose one of their Pokemon in their discard pile and put it in their hand. Your opponent picks first. Uh, so, yeah, you can just got, grab a Shaman or grab something you just need in your discard pile and put it in your hand, I guess. Uh, Noivern. There it is. Oh, okay. Flying through a mountain. I don't know what the heck it was doing. Tuning. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Draw Then draw a number of cards equal to your, uh, the number of cards in your opponent's hand. That's good, but I feel like that'll just like take a turn too late, and then like you'll have to co have the same problem your next turn, trying to match your opponent's hand size, and so, yeah. Air slash one twenty discard energy attached to this Pokemon. Eh. Uh, Noivern Break. This is a pretty sweet card actually. Uh, Synchro Woofer seventy plus damage if the number of cards in your hand opponents are the same. So pretty much if you have the same hand size, this attack does any more damage. And of course, you can use double dragon energy and just attach one more energy to it. Uh, but I didn't see Judge in here, so that really sucks. And there is Reserve Ticket, the final card we're going to be looking at here. And so you guys can stop listening to me butcher this video all to no end. <laughs> Flip a coin if head, search your deck for any card, and shuffle the rest in your deck, and put the chosen card on top. So that's pretty sweet. But, alright guys. That is going to do it for the video. I am very sorry that I butchered the living crap out of it towards the end there. Uh, I have a tendency to do that sometimes when I have these long recording sessions. But thank you guys so much for watching. You are absolutely amazing. And I hope you guys have enjoyed me doing this long video because I normally don't do these. So that's why I struggled a lot. But if you guys haven't checked out any other content on my channel, definitely go do that. They're all not as stuttering and horrible and whatnot as this was. And yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And hopefully you guys don't dislike the video for me screwing up as much as I did. So do that favor for me. But you're amazing. I love you so much. And this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out. Take care, guys.